Something strange is happening with 3 Eye Atlas, something the newest images capture so clearly that even experienced astronomers are calling this phase unexpectedly active. When these latest frames appeared online, they didn't look like the typical post-perihelion fade we see in normal comets. Instead, what we're witnessing is a new stage, a stage where the object seems to be reshaping itself, forming cleaner structures while losing thousands of tons of material every second. The first thing that stands out in these new images is the core. It refuses to blur or distort. Most comets soften when they move away from the sun. Their inner coma becomes irregular, shaky, uneven. But 3 i Atlas holds its central brightness like a solid lantern glowing inside a storm. No matter how the images are sharpened, stretched, or stacked, this circular core stays almost perfectly symmetrical, an anchor of stability inside clouds of chaos. But everything surrounding this core is anything but stable. In the newest enhanced images, you can actually see thin arcs forming around the nucleus. Not one arc, not two, but several faint layers, like ripples frozen in transparent ice. They expand outward in perfect curves, spaced apart as if released in rhythmic pulses. The first time observers saw these arcs, they assumed they were processing glitches. But soon, the same structures appeared in images from different countries, different telescopes, and different optical systems. That's when people realized these arcs are real. They may be formed by repeated bursts of activity, sudden vents releasing gas at high speed, or maybe something deeper inside the comet is vibrating, sending pulses through the surrounding coma. Whatever the mechanism is, it isn't typical, not for solar system comets, and certainly not for an interstellar one. And yet, the mystery doesn't stop there. The forward-facing side of the coma, the part exposed to sunlight, looks oddly compressed. It's thicker, denser, packed with material as though the solar wind is pushing against it harder than expected. In brightness contour maps, it forms a smooth, bow-shaped glow, almost like a shield. Usually, this glow thins out after perihelion, but in these images, it looks stronger, as if the comet is resisting the sun instead of retreating from it. Then there's the tail. In long exposures, the tail behaves as though it's trying to twist, not violently, not like a spiral, but in a slow, consistent curve. The rotation looks delicate, controlled, the same direction repeated across multiple nights. For a normal comet, dust streams scatter randomly. But for 3 i Atlas, the dust seems to be folding in a coordinated way, as if the entire structure of the coma is moving according to some hidden rhythm. And here's where things get even stranger. In several stacked exposures, a thin vertical streak appears inside the inner coma. It's almost invisible in raw frames, but once the noise is cleaned and the contrast enhanced, the streak stands out like a narrow pillar of light rising from the nucleus. Some think it's a stable jet. Some think it's overlapping dust flows. Others suggest it could be a rotating vent that just happens to point directly toward us. But whatever it is, it's one of the most unusual internal features we've seen so far. What makes this even more puzzling is the comet's stability. Despite the extreme mass loss, thousands of tons per second, the nucleus remains perfectly shaped. There's no cracking, no fragmentation cloud, no distortion. It glows like a single unbroken object. Activity is high, but structure is stable. This combination shouldn't exist, yet here it is preserved on every new image. And this is exactly the kind of behavior that makes the timing of the United Nations Planetary Defense Observation Exercise feel strangely cinematic. Officially, the exercise has nothing to do with danger. It's simply a global test, a drill to sharpen tracking abilities. But to the public, the timing is too perfect. Just when the comet begins showing its most unusual features, the world activates a coordinated system meant for studying complex objects. The UN isn't warning about impacts, and no agencies are sounding alarms. But the atmosphere around the comet changes the moment that exercise is mentioned. It adds weight. It adds mystery. It adds the feeling that something about 3 i Atlas deserves closer attention because this is the first interstellar visitor in history to trigger such global monitoring. And then the flood of amateur images arrives. 
and that's when everything accelerates. Amateur astronomers are capturing new frames almost every night, and many of these images reveal the same repeating structures. The arcs, the bow-shaped glow, the twisting tail, the narrow spine running through the dust stream. These observers share their raw data openly, hours after capturing it. No long review process, no editing delays. And that's how the world sees the changes almost in real time. Every night, the inner coma looks slightly different. Every night, the arcs shift or widen. Every night, the tail curves a little more. 3 I Atlas is not fading quietly. It's evolving piece by piece, like a living structure responding to heat, rotation, and deep internal change. One of the most fascinating new features appears in deep stacked exposures, a faint spine stretching along the center of the tail, as if the comet has a backbone made of denser dust. It's delicate, nearly invisible in individual frames, but unmistakable when dozens of exposures are combined. Some observers compare it to a beam, others to a thread of dark material, but almost everyone agrees. It doesn't look like a normal dust pattern. The more the images evolve, the more 3 I Atlas feels like a comet that refuses to behave like one. Its core is too stable, its arcs are too symmetrical, its tail is too controlled, its structure is too persistent, and its activity simply doesn't match its distance from the sun. All of this is happening while the object is moving away from the sun, a stage where most comets become quiet. But 3 I Atlas acts like it's entering a new phase, not ending one. Some scientists think this might be because of its interstellar composition, chemicals and ices that react differently to heat. Others think deep fractures inside the nucleus are releasing jets from fixed positions, giving the object its unusual symmetry. Some even suspect rotational changes, shifts in how the comet spins, could be creating these stable patterns. But one thing is certain, this comet has no equal, not Oumuamua, not Borisov, not any long-period comet ever recorded. 3I Atlas represents something new. And with the UN exercise in motion, with observatories retargeting their schedules, with amateurs filling the gaps between official updates, and with the images becoming stranger every night, the story is building faster than scientists can explain it. This isn't just another object passing through the solar system. This is a cosmic visitor rewriting expectations with every new frame, and as long as it keeps shedding material, as long as its jets remain active, as long as its structure holds together, and as long as the tail continues twisting like a slow tidal wave, this comet will stay one of the most closely watched objects in the sky. With every new image, the mystery deepens. With every new enhancement, the patterns sharpen. And with every night that passes, the universe gives us one more reason to keep our eyes on this strange interstellar traveler. The next images might reveal cracks, or fragmentation, or new jets, or maybe something we haven't even imagined yet. Whatever happens, the story is still unfolding, slowly, beautifully, and unpredictably across the cold background of space, and we'll be here for every update.